Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I've got a Model D Alice Chalmers motor grader, road grader here. This isn't the earliest model, but it's a fairly early model. The earlier models had a round backbone and a lot of them didn't have options like rotate and side shift. But I'm gonna walk you around this model. We'll start at the front here. This one's equipped with wheeling, so the tires can tip side to side. And that helps you to go straight, gives you added traction and whatnot when you got the blade turned. This one has a manual steering box shaft that runs all the way up through and somebody modified it with power steering. Here you got the power blade rotate, just a hydraulic motor here, U-joints. This one's been modified. This box has been completely attempted to be welded onto here, plus some braces so it'll like really never come off. And that turns this cog under here rotating the blade. You got your lift cylinders and you want to make sure you keep these well lubed and greased because they will seize and bend the rods. Then the sear bar, I don't know what it's called for sure. It uh, you know keeps it from moving this way when you don't want it to. But it has multiple pin locations so you can move it if you need to. Then we got the side shift. That moves the blade back and forth if you need to move it. And we got our operator station here. Tandem drive. And this one's equipped with a four cylinder gas. So, I don't know if many people realize this, but you want to keep the tires, all four of them, as close to exactly the same as possible. Because there's big chains in here, and you don't want them fighting each other. And there is a differential, but there is no spider gears in it. It's just a spool, so both sides are locked up all the time. And if you have mismatched tires side to side, they will fight each other. This model right here is not equipped with the hydraulic brakes, but it is equipped with the hubs that would accept the hydraulic brakes. You could get four wheel hydraulic brakes on this one. The main hydraulic pump is belt driven off the engine, right there. And the oil reservoir is right there. Normally these came with an oil bath air cleaner. Somebody converted this one over to a paper element. This one with its uh, add-on power steering pump, it's mounted right there. And somebody converted this to an alternator. Now up into the operator station. Some of this may be different depending on the year and model. I don't know what this was supposed to be for but it doesn't do anything. Mine has the choke right here. Ignition switch back there. And then you have your four speed. This is not the proper seat. And there's where your batteries go. This is your throttle. And this grater is equipped with a two speed or high low. So the transmission 
reverse, first, second, third, and fourth would be up there. Here's the lube chart. Okay, the controls. Now if you have a basic machine, you would just have these controls. Quite possibly just these two levers right here. This one's for the right blade lift. This one's for the left blade lift. And then this one has a scarcifier. That's right there. And this cylinder right here, which is bent because that ball is seized, is this lever. Now the optional valves like this one has, this one is for your side shift, this one is for your rotate, and this one is for your wheeling. So the way this machine is set up, everything back goes that way. Everything forward goes that way. These valves, they're different valves from side to side, according to the parts manual. And they're kind of interesting. To me, it seems like this one is set up for almost like closed center hydraulics. And this one's set up for open center. Because the pump comes into here. And it goes across over to this one. But they both dump their return oil straight down. This one dumps right into the reservoir. This one dumps into that hose right there into the reservoir. So it's a kind of interesting system. Let's start this thing up. She's a good runner. This one you pull it back, blade goes up. This next one you pull it back, blade goes up. Just like that. I'm not going to run this one because with the cylinder being bent, it leaks all over the place. Side shift. The other way. Rotate. The other way. And the wheel in. in high right now. That's low. This is first and low. First and high. There is quite a big jump from low to high, especially in fourth gear. Well guys, hopefully that helps somebody out. Let me know if you want to see anything else on this machine. I'm thinking it's going to be here for a while. Well, thanks for watching. You guys check out some of my other videos. There might be one that you're interested in. Take care and God bless. You want to run them?